All right, let's take a look here at the KCNA. So I just typed in KCNA into uh, Google and it made it our way here. And so there's a register for the exam here at the, at the current cost, at least for me, it says $250 and we can see the five domains, but that doesn't really tell us a lot. So there's a handbook down below. If you click that, it gives you way too much information on uh, how like taking the exam works. So they have a lot of information here. To me, it's a bit overkill, but um, if you need to know anything, it's it's in this handbook. And this is generalized for any of the Linux certifications. And you're thinking, well, isn't this the CNCF? Well, yeah, but the certification is through the Linux Foundation because CNCF is a uh, sub-organization of the Linux Foundation. So you can enroll this way. Notice they have a bundle for a course for 50 bucks more. I can't really speak to the quality of the course. Um, so I'm not sure. It, it kind of looks like it's pieced together with other content. So, I mean, that's gonna be your decision if you want to do that. Um, there always is a way to get kind of a discount. $250 is pretty steep. Um, and so if you try to reach out to like, maybe like a CNCF um, community ambassador, maybe they'll know where a coupon code is, but try not to pay full price because I didn't, I got a uh, code somewhere. But here you can see the breakdown again for uh, the different kinds of categories here. We'll just expand it here. And another place to look is the curriculum. And I wouldn't call these curriculums, I call them exam guides, because curriculums are very detailed. But this is what I'm talking about where we see the versioning, right? And so here they say KCNA, and they might have some resources here. And I'm sure that they will add my resources here soon enough because I just have yet to publish my course, but I could see mine being on the top there uh, very soon. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the curriculum here. So we'll open it up. And and give it a moment and we scroll on down here are our categories so not very detailed compared to other other ones but let's just take a look here so under kubernetes fundamentals we have resources architecture api containers scheduling and really this is knowing the components of kubernetes okay there's a lot of different components and we'll go through that um, then we have container orchestration so this is understanding uh, run times what is an orchestration system the basics of security, like the four C's of security, networking and cluster networking. Uh, very little knowledge, but you need a little bit of knowledge on service mesh. How does storage persistent volumes uh, uh, go into play? Then under cloud native architecture, we have uh, the fundamentals, auto scaling, serverless, community and governance, personas. Now personas is weird because it doesn't really show up on the exam. Like there's a page about personas and that talks about all the different kinds of customers that could use it. But really the only personas you really see are SREs and there might be like one or two questions. So if you do see something asking like what kind of roles, whatever, it's probably gonna be SRE. So that was kind of a weird one. Open standards, like all the types of uh, interfaces that can be used, telemetry and observability. So um, things like open telemetry, Prometheus, Grafana, cost management, that's another squishy one where uh, they don't really have a good definition of cost anywhere. Maybe it's in that paid course by them, but it's definitely nowhere else online. So I had to kind of piece that together. And they only ask you like one pricing question and it's such a bizarre question that, uh, you know, it's just what it is. Uh, then underneath we have application delivery. So like uh, GitOps, CICD, things like that. You should just know generally the different types of deployment tools uh, for GitOps, but you don't really have to know how to deploy. I mean, you technically do, but not like with a, like not with like Flux or not with Argo, nothing super complicated, but you do need to know the different types of deployment strategies. So hopefully that gives you kind of idea um, uh, of what uh, you're gonna be dealing with here, uh, but there you go.